Okay, well, uh, this is Colin McCracken for ZombieHamster.com. Very happy to be here with Pollyanna McIntosh. Good to meet you. You too. And uh, just to begin, we're here at Grimfest in Manchester, and uh, we're just about, in, I'd say about 45 minutes or so, to go and see him indoors. Oh my god, is it that soon? So, uh, Pollyanna, can you tell us a little bit about the movie itself? Yeah, it's a, it's a dark comedy. Um, it's 15 minutes long, and it's Paul Davies' uh, narrative debut. So he made a documentary, um, Beware the Moon, about American Werewolf in London, which ended up winning an award and, and was also on the extras for the DVD for that film. Uh, massive horror fan. And it's just a very smart uh, little movie with myself and Rhys Shearsmith from The League of Gentlemen and Psychoville and, and lots and lots of movies, um, where he is an agoraphobic serial killer. Excellent. So he's a serial killer that can't leave his house and it makes the killing a little bit harder since his mum died and doesn't bring him the victims anymore. So uh, luckily for him, I'm his very nosy neighbour and um, where he is incredibly socially awkward and disinterested in being close to people unless, you know, mm -hmm. he's up to his tricks. Um, I just kind of want to be all, all over him and all around him and, and, and find out what he's all about and so I get right in his face. Um, and I get to play much closer to myself, kind of an obnoxious uh, verbal diarrhea. Uh, <laughs> how, how would you say it? Verbal diarrhea? I don't know. Anyway, somebody with verbal diarrhea um, who is all chatty and smiley all the time. Excellent. And um, how did you come and to I be involved? Tell you what happens. No, no, please don't. Please yeah. don't. But how did you come, come to be involved in the um, in, in the most wonderful way an actor can hope to be involved in something, I was just asked to do it. Brilliant. Um, and Paul had seen the woman and uh, his producer James Pierce, who's who's only 22 years old and has already produced a couple of shorts incredibly well, so he's one to watch as well. Um, he just contacted my agent and my agent kind of said, oh there's this thing, I don't, I don't think you want to do it, it's not much money, it's a short thing. And I said, well what's it about, you know, and who's in it? And, and he, um, he said, well alright, I'll send it on to you. And, I saw Reese Shearsmith's name just leapt off the email and I thought, I've got to see what this is about because yeah. if Reese is doing it, you know it's going to be interesting. And it was. It was just great. And how long ago was the shoot? I have no concept of time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was uh, probably August time. When was Fright Fest? Fright Fest was August. Okay, so it was, it was two and a half weeks before Fright Fest okay. because that's how fast they edited it wow. and together and got it in the festival. And have you had many screenings since Fright Fest? Uh, that has been the only one so far, I believe. Oh no, maybe there's been a couple of other festivals that I haven't been able to make it to. Mm -hmm. But I th think... I'm not sure if this is the second, but there's not been many, basically. It's very recent. So there was Fright Fest and then it's now kind of doing the doing circuit. That's so this great. is my first attendance to a festival outside of Fright Fest with it. Brilliant. So um, we'll be able to see the reaction yeah, of the crowd. And everything yeah, like that. so I know we're going to go to Leeds with it as well for... Leeds Film Fest and then a few other genre festivals. So they're all, they've already got um, video on demand, um, you know, release and everything. So that's great. People, people seem to like it. Excellent. And for the video on demand and things like that, if people want to find out a little bit more about well, the movie, where go, can they go? Go to the um, to the website, which is him indoors the movie. I don't know. Just um, Google him indoors Reese Shearsmith, or Google him indoors Pollyanna McIntosh. Yeah, Fantastic. do that one, um, and you'll be able to find out. You know, the website it's got its Facebook page and all that. So That's there's right. a trailer online too, which is really fun. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, we're all really looking forward to that. Thank you. But in addition, I couldn't get away without asking you about a movie that you are very famous for, uh, which is Lucky McGee's The Woman. Yeah. And yeah. I just wanted to ask you if you were aware that this is still gaining momentum, that people are still talking about it, oh, and that it so seems nice. to be getting more and more popular. That's so nice, thank you. Um, yeah, it seems to be a film that people have really taken to their heart, if you can take a feral, bloody cannibal to your heart. <laughs> um, but it's, yeah, it's, I've been really moved by, by the response from people, and people mm. who are sending me little messages on Facebook saying how much they love the film. And yeah. Um, you know, working with Lucky McKee was such an honour and oh, I just love that man, he's, he's a dude, you know, he's, and I think he's made a great movie, so I'm excited that people, I'm excited for people to see it for the first time because it's yeah. really an unusual film and I think that um, if you don't like it, fine, but you, you, you can't, uh, 
you can't help but notice this movie. Yes, <laughs> you know? most definitely. Yeah. And I mean, it has a strong effect. It certainly does. I mean, your performance was it was just so visceral and raw and aggressive. And I was just wondering, what did you have to channel to bring that out? I think we've all got that inside us. You know, we were all hunters once. Yeah. Um, and I read a wonderful book called um, The Origin of, of Myth, which talks about kind of where we started telling stories from and mm -hmm. kind of how much of, of the human story comes from the fact that we are hunters. Um, so I had a lot of, I won't go into it because it just sounded like a load of hippie old bollocks, but it was very <laughs> helpful. It's a great book if you want to look it up. Um, I researched animals a lot. I, I went into the woods by myself for a while. Um, I looked at wolves and, and apes and big cats a lot. And I actually had a lot of influence from Sitting Bull, the Indian chief, Native American chief, um, you know, who would just absolutely refuse to be put into, um, you know, captivity essentially. Yeah. Um, and he was kind of my little symbol on my... I had a, a mood board of like hyenas <laughs> and wild, wild cats and lions and things and packs and families and, yeah. and sitting bull there looking at me. And Eddie is odd, oddly, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, that character is very easy for me to get into and to relate to and kind of, especially as a woman, you know, the, the, I mean, the way I'm sitting right now, you know, this is, this is the proper way to be. Yeah. But, you know... I really want to sit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just going into that that side of yourself and that um, that place where you sit, where you're you are raw. And it looked so physically demanding as well. Were you quite literally hanging for hours uh, on end, or I wasn't was that any, nicely I wasn't broken in any up? Pain. I yeah. wasn't in any pain. There was there was certain a certain di you know there was some discomfort. But, mm. um, but yeah, I had I had two manacle men on each on each manacle with keys to let me out. <laughs> Um, because otherwise, I, would, I mean, they were real, you know. Yeah. They, they were locked. They were locked. <laughs> so um, Lucky just kept uh, telling me, don't, don't pull too hard and don't, don't um, strain yourself, you know, because as an actor, sometimes you can get a bit carried away. And um, it was uh, very important to him that we were all kept safe and comfortable. So yeah, physically demanding. I mean, I worked out hard so that I looked quite, you know, for it. But. Mm. Well, um, I wanted to ask you one thing as well. Some of the critics of the film mm. have stated that there are very misogynistic elements, whereas other yeah. people counterbalance that by yeah. saying that it's an examination of sort of sexuality and gender roles themselves. Mm. And whereas the the character of your captor, for mm. example, uh, is representative of everything that is reprehensible and evil about yeah. the sort of the male or the the dominant and side also, of things. And also, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think. That Certainly, of, of of our patriarchy, as it you know, as 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 it's explored in the film, um, I don't think it's a character that people are going to want to be like, is it? No. So I don't think it's a character that encourages misogyny in any way. It's also not a film um, where the woman's captivity is eroticized, in, in, yes. you know, in the way that it is in a lot of those torture porn types mm. of, of films. It was very important to me, for instance, that the rape scene wasn't, you know, frantic, kind of exciting, yeah. kind of, um, you know, that smell of blood that you get from some of those sort of rape yeah, scenes. It was um, very perfunctionary. Yeah, and it was like as it as it as it is, you know, mm. just a shameful kind of gross thing. And um, I think Lucky did some very interesting stuff with the camera, so that you mm. were kind of forced to face that um, from the uh, from the victimizer's perspective as well. Um, and in fact, that character comes out sort of, you know, more uncomfortable than mm. the woman does in many ways because she is, she is, um, she's stronger than that, you know. And um, there's a lot I could say about the, the, that side of, of, of the reason that it's important to me, uh, this film. But I, I think that anyone who claims it's misogynistic is just really missing the point. And I also understand, though, that, you know, it's a very difficult film to watch and it, and it, it creates a lot of turmoil mm -hmm. um, for a lot of people. And it can make things that are about, you know, the harsher side of life can make you quite angry at the world. And I think in the instance, for instance, of the chap at Sundance who protested the film, I think in my mind that's what happened with him. Is he felt very angry and impotent because yeah. there's nothing he could do about the state that we're in um, that the film is talking about, you know, the problems that the film is talking about. Um, so instead he kind of got mad at the film instead, which I think was just misguided. Holly Ann, it's been yeah. an absolute pleasure. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Okay. For zombiehamster.com. Thank you.